Hi everyone, this is Kona and welcome to week 10. So woohoo, you made it back from spring break. Happy to have you back. So what are we doing this week? So in week 10, um, we've got study resources. So we're just kind of going a little bit further into that categorical data. So remember we did the one proportion before break. Well now we're gonna come back and we're gonna work on two proportion and chi-square. Uh, the quiz for this week is on deciphering a claim. So a lot of this goes back to that statistics table that we've already looked at before. Uh, and some of these types of data, types of variables, uh, these have already been kind of, we've already gone through these before. But if you need a refresher, this video really does take you through step by step the whole the deciphering the claim. So just uh, download the notes, go through the claim. What this is going to help you with, so the deciphering the claim stuff is going to help you with this quiz. So this entire quiz is on that. So there you go. That's what you need to do for the quiz. So coming back here, what else do you have? You've got that categorical data analysis. So the big thing is going to be this two proportion chi-square. So the one proportion stuff is just a repeat from what you already saw in the week before spring break. So don't worry about these two things. I just put them there because I figured it'd be easier if you need to refer back to have it on one page. But the new stuff is the two proportion. So this is the two proportion lecture notes. So this is where I actually explain what the two proportion test is, how to do the claim, all of that. And then the mini tab notes. And this is how you actually do that, how you do it in mini tab. Um, same thing for the chi-square. And so here's the notes about what the chi-square is. And then here is examples uh, or example in Minitab. So that's the categorical data analysis. Um, you can get there from here or uh, it is also right here on the main page. So what will go along with this is basically all the rest of your assignments for this week. Um, so the quiz was deciphering the claim, but these are all the categorical analysis. So two proportion and chi-square basically everything else. So the claim uh, discussion. So for this one, it's going to help you with um, your project for this week. And so for this, what you're going to do is analyze um, your project to advanced mini tab. Uh, so to do this, you're going to have to come up with two claims, a two proportion claim and a chi square claim. What this is going to do. So this whole discussion is to help make sure that you've got claims that will work with the data. So this is basically to help this discussion, the whole purpose is to help you with this assignment, the Project 2 Advanced Mini Tab Analysis. So something really important is this right here. So a gender originally had three answer options, but there are only 10 people, which is only 0.85% uh, of the population uh, that we sampled from identified themselves as other. That means we really don't have enough data to use this as an answer option. Um, basically, there's just not enough data uh, for anything to end up significant, so it's going to throw everything else off. So unfortunately, um, in order to allow us to still use gender uh, for our analysis, so for the two proportion chi-square, we're going to treat gender as only having two answer options. When you actually go to do the advanced mini tab analysis, I've provided a updated mini tab file. Please use that updated mini tab file because I removed um, the other as a gender. I removed that off of there, and that is the correct one to use. But as you're writing your claims, you can now treat gender as having two answer options. So make sure to review. Um, so for writing the claims, you're going to want to look at the two proportion lecture notes and the chi-square lecture notes. That's what's going to help you write these claims. Then by writing claims and getting feedback, you're then going to be able to come here and you're going to have your claims. So you're going to be good. You're going to feel confident that you've got the right claims. Then here, remember, use this data. So remember I just said, this is the updated data set where other for gender has been removed. So this is the one you would use for the rest of the project. This is the data set that you should use. Okay, so moving forward, this is the data set you use. So for this one, um, you basically are answering all of these questions for each one, each claim. So you would have the one proportion claim I'm sorry, not one, eh, excuse me. So you would have the two proportion claim, put a heading, and then give that claim, alternative or null, complementary, um, identify which statistical method, 
<coughs> excuse me, um, use Minitab, provide the appropriate, um, here's your conclusion, and the real world. Remember, the real world needs to be, like, what does this actually mean? Is there a real difference? So use the actual percentages. Um, actually talk about, so don't say it was, you know, a statistical significance, don't talk about support reject. Um, you can say that there was a significant difference and then give the percentages or something, or there wasn't a stati or there wasn't a significant difference and give the percentages, but real world. Um, and then here's more explanation for the gender there. So the other thing that the categorical is going to help you with, um, so remember categorical, here's the mini tab. Well, when you go to do the actual oh, mini tab, this is that project. Um, this is what will help you do the other part of the project. It's the mini tab. So the claim part is this side, the left hand side, the mini tab part is going to be more on your right side. Then the other thing you've got is the two proportion chi square mini tab homework. Uh, this is worth 30 points. This is a pretty big assignment. Uh, so no time limit, but you do only get one attempt. And what you're doing is just a two proportion test and then a chi square test. Remember, if you have questions, you can ask me. Even if you just want to be like, I want to make sure that I've got whether this is a null or alternative, because that will make a huge difference. You can ask me. I will give you feedback. I will help you. You just have to ask me for help. I mean, please don't wait till Sunday night, uh, but please ask for help if you have questions. I would rather you ask for help and do good on these assignments than not ask for help and feel, un you know, not sure. So ask for help. All right, so I think I've now gone through all of the week 10 resources um, and assignments. I hope you have a great week. If you have any questions or you need something, let me know.